Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm the training coordinator here at Blue Marble Geographics. And today I'm joining Jenna. She's been showing me what it takes to fly a drone, which you might have seen recently on our social media. What are we doing today? Well, today, Emily, we're taking our drone collected data and loading it into Global Map. So let's do it. All right. All right, so I'm gonna begin by loading the ground control points that we collected while we were out at the site. So loading the ground control that we collected in Global Mapper Mo Mobile is really easy since it's in the Global Mapper Mobile package file. Bringing that in here, you'll see there is the ground control layer along with the reference data that we had uh, open in Global Mapper Mobile as well. So that's an easy way to bring in your ground control, though it is possible to also bring it in from a text file as well. Now, having loaded my ground control from the Global Mapper Mobile package file, actually set my workspace projection up to my desired projection that I also had collected the ground control in. So I have my uh, UTM projection here. You'll wanna just double check that you set your projection um, because when we run pixels to points, the output will be in that projection. Next, I'm gonna load the images from the drone camera. There is a handy option here in the file menu to open all files from a directory tree. And that will make it really easy for us to just specify the particular image folder. So you get that from your drone, select that folder and just supply the particular image file extension here in the file mask prompt. I'm gonna add all these images to a group to make it easy to manage in the control center called the group images. All right. So now you can see all of the loaded images. They have been placed as points on the map here. Each camera icon representing the location where that photo was captured. So that coordinate comes from the uh, EXIF data from the drone. If I want to, I can actually use my feature info tool to preview an image really quickly. Notice it pops open uh, image viewing application where I can see that image. It also loads a ground coverage polygon. This is the approximate area that was covered by the uh, image here. All right. You can also see the flight path pretty clearly with the arrows on the map here as well. And so you can uh, kind of double check the coverage that you got from the drone. We're gonna do one more thing to check the coverage of our images and see what overlap we have. That image overlap is very important to the reconstruction of the output products. So I'm going to actually open up pixels to points and I'm gonna use the main window here. Now in the map option, you'll see this option to load ground coverage polygons for the selected images. What we'll do is we will actually load those images. So I'm going to add all of our loaded picture points to this pixels to points dialog and just use that map option to load the ground coverage polygons for the selected images. So I click yes and click okay to get those generated. And what is very handy is you also get this image overlap report. And that is particularly useful because you can know the overlap. We suggest having at least 60% uh, forward overlap and 40% side. So we can just quickly check to see that our data meets that specification. All right, so I'm not gonna process the data right now, but I can uh, minimize that workspace and see all of my coverage polygons on the map. You can see a lot of different polygons. We have really good coverage with this data set.
I want to turn those off, I can do that here as well. And if I need to uh, step away and come back and process this another day, I can save my uh, P2P workspace file and I can also save a workspace here. All right, so that's a quick introduction to loading your drone collected data and ground control into Global Mapper. Next time, we'll talk further about processing that data. But for now, if you have questions or need more information, check out our website where you can find our knowledge base on bluemarblegeo.com.